So today I'm going to do a short video on potting up a root bound plant. So a lot, most of my pot, uh, pepper plants are potted because uh, a lot of people don't know this but pepper plants are perennials and so if you keep them above I think it's something like 10 to 15 degrees Celsius um, they won't uh, die off in the winter time and so for the last six years I've I've had a couple I think the oldest plant I have at the moment is four years old a bell pepper plant but they start flowering in February which is really really nice uh, so you will get peppers really early but it's later in the year I wanted to keep this pepper plant small because that's one of the nice things that I've kind of found with pepper plants is that you are able to kind of keep them the size that you want. In books I've read, they talk about making a bonsai pepper plant. That's not my thing, but this is something my girls really like. Uh, it's a uh, snack pepper, and so it's just basically kind of uh, like a banana pepper but small they're great just when you pick them and put them on the grill with a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper and just mm, I, I love them and uh, the other plant I had this it died and so I'm trying to uh, help the one that I have make sure that it produces more the pot can be like I said any size that you kind of want in my experience the problem is like here if you keep it in this I think this is a five liter pot if you if you, you keep it in a, a no, actually, I think that's four, but it doesn't matter. If you keep it in a smaller pot, it will survive. The problem is feed and watering. And the biggest problem with these plants is when they get going, they're very thirsty. And so if you keep it in a pot like this, without anything underneath it, that's when you notice that the plant will start to wilt all the time. Um, one thing that's not bad about a pepper plant is you can let them wilt. If you have hot peppers, you can let them wilt so that um, the, the spiciness goes up, the capsule. But these, these are totally mild. It's basically like a smaller, different size green pepper. So the soil that I'm using to pot it up is just basic potting soil. It's got uh, vermiculite mixed into it to help it retain some water, and it also has perlite, which helps for aeration. I also mixed in some, uh, uh, maybe like a half a handful, of tomato feed. Uh, the reason I'm doing the tomato feed is because it is already in flowering season, so uh, I want to make sure that it has enough food. I'm going to pot it up into a 12 liter bucket. I use uh, mulch on the top to help keep it from drying out so quickly. But like you can see, it's already root bound. It's not that bad. It could have been much worse. Uh, you, like when you see it like here where it's going in. So I always kind of get a little bit of a hole. I put a lot more in here uh, than should be there to begin with. And then I like to loosen the roots up so that they don't just stay in that shape. And then Get it nice, compact it in there. I like to kind of go around the root ball and then just kind of push down and into it, which tightens it, gets its roots in connection with the soil around it. And then I like to thoroughly water it the first time. And there you go. It's, it's really nice watching plants when they pot up. So I'm going to have a cut here to uh, a couple of days from now, whenever it takes. It's, it's, it's really fun to watch because you can really tell how the plant kind of wakes up. I've got a, a close up here uh, showing how the plant looks. And you can really tell when the roots realize there's more space that it actually kind of branches out, that it starts this new growth and it just kind of comes alive. And so I'll come back when I have uh, that show. But that's the basics of potting up a plant. Now it's just to, to wait and see the results of our labor. <laughs> see you in a bit. Here you see 
it's already started to sprout up here it has more buds coming in all around the peppers themselves are already getting stronger and bigger and this is that overall growth that i meant and now six weeks later exactly six weeks later you can see the plant taking full advantage of the bigger pot it's bushier overall the stem has become much thicker the leaves are, are this more mature look while you see the splits of it growing new flowers all over the place so now i can see that this is going to be a very good productive little snack pepper plant and that is the basics on potting up a pepper plant i hope you have enjoyed thanks for watching and i'll see you next time